If you want to help support us in making our videos, then join us on Patreon for only one USD a month. Just removed the last panel, forgot to remove the one that was on the door. Show us Renee. There we go, the last one out. Ta -da. We are going to the carpenter, Mr. Siva, aka Mr. Carpenter. So we're going to start by insulating the wall panels and inside the cavities down here and down this side here. What we got to do first is, apart from clean the surface, is take these wires, get them out of the way and run them along the top around there and then do a partition here so that the wool won't block the wires for future. There's an area that I can't reach, which is a cavity down here. And that's where I'm going to use the PU foam. This stuff here, polyurethane foam, and uh, it's got a little sharp nozzle and I'm going to foam it up. Insulation against mildew, water and aging resistant. So this is really good. 750 ml bottle for 25 ringgit. Yeah, we are using this foam in the wall panels of our van so that we can fill it, fill some areas and have a better sound barrier as well as insulation for heat or cold. Because as we travel out of Malaysia, we may be going towards colder weather and uh, I don't know, all the videos on YouTube say, yeah, use this, so we're trying it out. Oh, no. 
after 30 minutes, this is what the foam looks like. And it's hard to touch. Squashy. So we filled it up in there, in there. We're gonna need more foam. So that's wool. And I'm gonna leave a gap here. And then this is where the reflectix will be. So if there's heat on the outside, it won't go through the the wool and then I leave a gap so that if it does go through then it won't go through the reflectix here. This is how we do it and by all means it doesn't have to be how you guys do it. You can't always follow what you watch on YouTube and you gotta just come up with your own methods and go by it, experiment. If it doesn't work just strip the van again and start over. putting bitumen soundtrack onto the wheel wells. This is our floor mat. We are placing this floor mat under our plywood floor. It says here 100% recyclable, no smell, water resistant, noise resistant, protects flooring from heavy duty activity. One pack gives you four pieces. And right now we bought ours from Mr. DIY. Cost us 30 ringgit a pack. So we used this multi-purpose floor mat in our previous build and it served really well. Uh, it didn't melt under the high heat of our exhaust, like the exhaust is just below the area we used it in, it was fine. And uh, it kept the items in the van from bouncing uh, too hard onto the floor. So yeah, really good stuff. We highly recommend it as well. But what we're going to do is we put a layer of this onto the van floor and then we're going to put our plywood and then we're going to put our vinyl. All this will happen in the next week, so stay tuned. 